Hi kiddos. I wanted to say hi. Tyler wanted to say hi. Charlie, do you want to say hi? hi? Come say hi. Hi. That's Charlie. Um, I just wanted to check in with all of you guys and make sure that you guys know exactly what you got to do. Um, so while I'm gone, there is a calendar. Everyone has a folder. Up, it's up at the beginning of the room. In that folder, the calendar has everything you're going to do on it for every single day. So today is January 6th. Well, today's not January 6th, it's the 5th. But on January 6th, you guys have a pretest, and then you have a reading notebook. When it comes to your reading notebook, um, if you are in first and second or seventh and eighth, you are going to do that with your own choice books. Okay, I'm letting you guys take out books from my library. You can take out books from the public library. You can take out books from the school library. Um, however you want to read, that's fine. But what I need you to do is reflect on your reading. And if you're not reading, I'm going to know. I also want you to go into detail. So like the first day I ask, like, why did you choose this book? Well, tell me, why did you choose that book? Was it because you like the author? Is it because you like the topic is it because you like you recommended it um and i'm gonna be recommending some books to you while i'm gone too tyler says yeah um and then so every day you're gonna be re reflecting so for example the book that i'm reading is called catching jordan and the reason i'm reading it is because it is um the first book in the hundred oak series and i read one of the other books already but you can read them out of order and it's like super girly and it's about a girl who plays football and she um, doesn't like ever have boyfriend. And I don't know. It's a girly book. So I would write why, why I picked out that book. I'll put an example up on Classroom when I get a chance. Um, and then, so every day on a normal day when it's an assessment day, you're going to read for at least 20 minutes. You're going to write your reflection and your reflection i want you guys to actually put a like, good effort in those are things that i'm going to be grading from home and so i'm gonna know right away like who is using their time wisely and who's not okay those are gonna be due i believe on fridays everything's set up to be on classroom um everything will be released released the day before the week before and then um there's deadlines on your calendar as well and the other thing is is that you're gonna be doing grammar practice there's like a little grammar thing just try your best. I just want to have you guys get into the, the habit of practicing your grammar every day because, you know, on ACT Aspire, you will be tested on correcting things and kind of code switching. So, and then the last thing is, is, see, reading notebooks. There's some like, re oh, the short stories. So every day, every week on Mondays and sometimes on Tuesdays, you're going to come in like tomorrow is not going to count because it's, it's assessment day. But on Tuesday, you're going to come in. And what you're going to do is you're going to read the short text that I give you. And so your sub has all the short text. Yeah, that's Charlie. He's running around like crazy. Spider-Man is his obsession. Um, you're going to read the short text. And after you read the short text, um, the first day you'll just summarize. Then the rest of the week, you have some questions to go with it. Now, if you want to work at your own speed with it that's fine so like for example i know that in my first period i have some students that are like really fast readers so they could read the whole thing the first day and then answer the questions you know throughout but it is quite a bit of work so i don't suggest doing it all at once because then you'll get burned out um so each day has like a different thing you'll answer and that should also go um on a document so i would i would do all of this stuff digitally so i would do your reading notebooks on a digital document. Oh, there's Charlotte, Charlotte. He's trying to burp. I would do all of your reading notebooks on a like document, on one document for the whole week. And then on Friday, I would turn in that document. And I think some of you guys are set up to, for it to be due Friday. Some of it's due to be turned in Sunday. Just check the calendars. I made everything on there. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a short video to remind you of what to do. And that way you have a spot. <laughs> Charlie's just running around. That way you have a spot also just so you can look back at this. Um, I want you guys all to know that I miss you and that I love you. Maybe Tyler says hello. Charlie says hello, but he's running around. Peanut and Lucy, they say hello. There's, there's Lucy. She's crazy. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. It's apitman at wmsd.net. Um, I've also included all the stuff in your documents. Um, use your folders. Don't lose your folders. Please just, like, you can, if you don't trust yourself to 
hold on to your folders. Don't put them all around the classroom because kids will take them. Um, health should be in there every other week or whatever. So I would either keep them with you if you trust yourself. I know I have some girls, especially in my first class, that they could totally hold on to their stuff. Um, if you can't, do not put it around the room. And I'm speaking to like a few of you, like Aaliyah, Mason, don't store it around the room. It will get lost, it will get taken. Then you'll have to get new copies. It'll be a mess, it'll be more work. So just keep them up front if you need to store it. Keep it in the folder if you need to fold it. Um, and turn in your stuff digitally. All right, Tyler says hello. Charlie, you wanna say hello? Say hello to mommy's students. Hello, mommy's students. All right, we love you. Let me know if you have questions. Bye.